How's it going everyone and welcome back to LTA 3D. Now if you're like me and you've just purchased and received your Flash Forge Adventure of 5M, then you may be wondering what to print first. Well today I'm going to share with you the first 7 things that you need to print on the Adventure of 5M. Some of these come pre-installed on the older version of the 5M and others are just some nice quality of life upgrades which I'll have listed in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and without further ado, let's get printing. The first object on this list is of course a Benchy and it comes preloaded on the Adventure 5M Pro. If you have a newer version of the 5M series printers then you'll find that Flashforge has created and sliced their own boat file similar to the Benchy. Now for those of you that are new to 3D printing you may be wondering what this cute little boat is and why it's called a Benchy. Benchy is short for benchmark as this print is a great way to test your printer's capabilities. It is designed to test how well your printer deals with overhangs, large smooth curves, tiny surface details, cylindrical shapes and much much more. Now for those of you that are familiar with Benchies, you will know that this print usually takes around 40 minutes to over an hour depending on the printer. However, that is not the case with the Adventure of 5M. Flashforge's slices file themselves and have somehow reduced the print time to an impressive 14 minutes. I definitely recommend printing this first as seeing the speed this prints at in person will blow you away. The second object on this list is a top mounted spool holder, which in my opinion is one of the most important files on this list. By default the Adventure of 5M comes with a flimsy spool holder located on the back of the printer and for most people like myself this is not ideal as I have my printer sat next to my X1 carbon and this makes it very difficult to load and change filaments. I've also come across a side mounted spool holder which I'll have linked below which is also a great option. The Adventure of 5M Pro by default comes with a cable chain however the non-pro 5M does not. Cable chains are great for keeping both the print head cable and filament guide tube secure while printing, reducing the chances of filament clogging, jamming and the filament snapping inside the guide tube. It also makes the printer look a little neater and in my opinion definitely helps with loading the filament into the print head. Flashforge includes a little toolkit with the Adventure of 5M series printers, however it is missing one key tool, a scraper. Luckily on the older models this hex scraper was a preloaded file and was actually the second file I printed on my own 5M. It works very well and doesn't take long to print at all. The next file is probably my favourite file on this list and that is a nozzle box or nozzle holder. This file was created by 3D Thing over on printables and it was designed to fit all of the four compatible hot swappable nozzles, the 0.25mm, 0.4mm, 0.6mm and 0.8mm in a nice snug box with a closable lid. I love this model a lot and it is a great way to keep your nozzles safe and to stop you from losing them. The penultimate object on this list is a tool holder created by Chal005 over on printables. It was designed to fit all the accessories that came with the Adventure of 5M with an extra spot for a second nozzle. This rugged box will keep all of your tools safe and together and you'll never be frantically searching for the correct allen key needed to tighten a screw again. The last object on this list is a stylus which comes preloaded on the newer Adventure of 5Ms. The stylus works perfectly with the touchscreen display and helps keep the screen clean. If you've had any issues with using your display where you've had to press a button multiple times then this will definitely be helpful. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you printed any of these items and also if you have any other must prints feel free to share them as well. As usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, and as always, happy printing.